The Steamship Delphine Commissioned by Horace Dodge, the car magnet, and equipped with quadruple expansion steam reciprocating engines of his own design, Delphine was launched at the Great Lakes Engineering Works in Detroit, Michigan in 1921, sadly four months after her owner's death. The largest American yacht of her day, Delphine was enjoyed by the Dodge family until the Second World War, when she was requisitioned by the U.S. Navy and renamed USS Dauntless. Although she never saw combat, she hosted meetings of the Allied powers, including Roosevelt, Churchill, Truman and Molotov. Following the peace, Delphine returned to the Dodge family until she was sold in 1968. She passed through many hands until 1997 when she was purchased by her current owner in Marseille in a state of disrepair and dereliction. Detailed plans from her original build were found and Delphine was completely rebuilt and returned to her former glory. She was rechristened in September 2003 by Her Serene Highness Princess Stephanie of Monaco. Delphine is 258 feet long, has a beam of 35 feet, is so lacerated as a passenger vessel and accommodates up to 28 guests. As one might expect with such a large vessel, the interior space is impressive and there is also much more deck area than one finds on a modern yacht. The promenade deck really deserves the name with enough width to walk three abreast. Aft on this level is a spectacular table seating 28 for alfresco meals forward of which is a bar and the entrance to the Delphine Lounge. Further forward on the promenade deck is the smoking lounge with leather button-back Chesterfield furniture, which no doubt witnessed important discussions on industry, politics and war. The boat deck above is a little less formal, with comfortable steamer chairs, a swimming pool and a bar. On boarding the yacht from the gangway aft, the main deck leads to the largest of the four saloons aboard Delphine. The music room, with a Steinway grand piano and generous bar, can be opened to the aft deck to accommodate large parties and functions. The formal dining saloon, forward on the main deck, is an exact replica of the original, from the Tiffany-designed dome in the centre of the ceiling to the three large and two smaller dining tables, custom carpeting and intricate panelling. The accommodations aboard Delphine are extensive and luxurious. The owner's stateroom and VIP stateroom on the main deck are truly spectacular with mahogany panelling and marble and onyx bathrooms. The other staterooms are predominantly aft on the deck below, reached by a staircase from the lobby. Opening off a central corridor, these staterooms with ensuite bathrooms are very much like one would expect to find in a luxury hotel. In a luxury hotel, one would also expect to find more than reception rooms and bedrooms. One deck below this accommodations deck is a large well-equipped gym, a spa bath, sauna, Turkish bath and a fully equipped hair and beauty salon. Forward on the boat deck, the wheelhouse has an interesting mix of modern high technology and original fixtures and fittings. The engine room telegraphs are the real thing, directing the captain's commands to the engineers below. Like everything else, the engine room has also been completely rebuilt with all modern equipment, save the main engines themselves. Works of mechanical art and designed by Horace Dodge these enormous machines are remarkably quiet and efficient. The resurrection of Delphine has been an enormous effort. She has been returned to her original splendor and has served her own as well. She is now for sale. For full details of this very special piece of yachting history, please contact your broker.